Hello and welcome to the session on Amazon Textract. This video is part of the AWS Certified AIML Bootcamp series. On behalf of the Cloud Expert Solution team, I would like to thank you for joining us and exploring this video. In today's session, we will start with diving deep into Amazon Textract key features and OCR or Optical Character Recognition capabilities including Amazon Textract use cases and real-life scenarios where Amazon Textract can be a game changer. Then we'll log into AWS Management Console and we'll review Amazon Textract in action. In this demo, we will analyze documents, handwritten text, analyze expenses, analyze identity documents, and analyze lending documents. Whether you are new to AWS or looking to enhance your skill, this session is for you. Amazon Textract is a machine learning service provided by AWS that can automatically extract text, handwriting, and data from scanned documents. It goes beyond simple OCR capabilities to identify, understand, and extract data from forms and tables making it powerful tool for various applications. Let's take a closer look at what Amazon Textract can do for us. To start with, text extraction. Amazon Textract can extract printed and handwritten text from documents, making it easy to digitize and process large volumes of paper documents. Then handwritten recognition, it can read and process handwritten notes, which is very important for converting manuscript or documents that contain annotations or marginalia. Next, form extraction. Amazon Textract can detect key value pairs in document images, retaining the context without manual intervention. This is a sample paste of file. And for this example, department, files, these are the keys and the values like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, these are the values corresponding to the keys. Amazon Textract can also help us to extract table from financial documents. It can preserve the composition of data stored in the table during the extraction, which is very helpful for documents like financial reports or medical reports. This is a sample paste up document and you can see in the original paste up document there are some data in the tabular format whether the tabular outlines are missing. However, Amazon Textract can extract the data and it can represent in a tabular format. Amazon Textract can also detect signature on document making it easy to automatically process documents like checks or loan application. This is again a sample check. The check has one signature. Amazon Textract can detect the signature and it can provide us the number of signatures available in the document. That is why you can see total signature detected is one. It has processed number of pages as one and it has highlighted the signature. Last but not least, custom queries. You can customize the pre-trained query features to improve extraction accuracy on your business specific document types. Let's review a document query example first. We'll take the paste up document and in this paste up, you can see we have one value which is the annual gross pay. Now, if you are going to ask a query, what is the YTD? That means year to date gross pay. It is going to extract that and it is going to reply our query. Now this was the inbuilt queries. In this screen, you can see we have one button called create adapter. Using that create adapter, we can create custom queries. Although custom query is an advanced topic and you don't have to know this feature in depth for AWS certified AI fundamental exam. However, it won't harm if we cover this feature on a very high level to explain that this type of feature exists in Amazon Textract. First, we are going to create a custom adapter. 
Once you have created the custom adapter, then you are going to upload sample documents. You are going to provide the sample labels in that document. Then using that sample document and the custom adapter with the sample label, you are going to train that model. And this is a supervised learning. Then you are going to check the performance matrix. Based on the performance, you can improve that adapter with the feedback. And once this is done, you can utilize this for your custom documents or business specific documents. In terms of use cases, Amazon Textract can be used in various scenarios like financial services. Amazon Textract can be used to extract critical business data such as mortgage rate, applicant name, invoice total, to process loan application or mortgage applications in minutes. For healthcare industry, we can extract important patient data from health intake forms, insurance claims, and also from pre-authorization forms. Moving to public sector domain, we can also use Amazon Textract to extract relevant data from government forms, such as small business loans or federal tax forms. In all these use cases, we can use Amazon Textract to implement automated document processing application like extraction of text and data from various documents to create smart search index or even build automated workflows. Now we can see a sample architecture diagram. Let's assume that we have some application which is constantly creating documents. And those documents, it can be loan applications, it can be credit card applications. Those documents can be PDF documents, can be scanned images, and it is constantly coming to our Amazon S3 bucket. Now we can put one AWS Lambda and it can work as event trigger. As soon as the document will land into Amazon S3, the Lambda function can be invoked. Now this Lambda function can invoke Amazon Textract and the Amazon Textract can extract the document metadata. Once the document extraction process is completed, we can pass that metadata into a processing application. And by that way, we can create automated document processing application without human intervention. Now let's see Amazon Textract in action. If your AWS account is less than 12 months old and you are covered by AWS free tier, then you won't spend any money to perform the demo with us. If you want to follow along, please pause the video here, log into AWS Management Console and join us back. We will wait for you. I have logged into AWS Management Console. If you have used Amazon Textract in recent past, you will be able to locate Amazon Textract under recently visited service section. I believe most of you are going to use Amazon Textract for the first time and you won't get Amazon Textract under recently visited. If you are one of them, please don't worry. Just type Textract in the service search panel. Amazon Textract should appear on top of the search result. Click on the Amazon Textract service and here you go. You will land into Amazon Textract landing screen. In today's demo, we are going to review all the options from left hand side panels. If you are more interested on default service quotas, you can check from this section. If you want to explore Amazon Textract pricing, here is the option. If you want to invoke Amazon Textract programmatically, then you can download the SDK. If you want to refer the developer resources, then these are the sections for you. Let's start with the first option, analyze document. Here are some pre-built or pre-installed documents. And we are going to use the paste tab. This is a sample paste tab that AWS already provided. If you have a custom document and if you want to use that, then you can click this choose document button and you can upload your document. Here are some sample document types. You can take vaccination card, you can take loan application, you can take health insurance card, or even you can take form 1005, which is a tax form. Now let's take the vaccination card. This is a sample COVID-19 vaccination card. And you can see if I'll upload the document, 
Amazon Textract will automatically extract all the metadata. Now you have different options to check. You can go to layout option and here you go. You can see the layout, key value pair, the table, everything, all the sections. You can go to forms option. If you remember during the presentation, we talk about in the form option, it is going to give you all the key value pairs, like the last name is Mary, first name is Major, and all other documents. This document also contain a table. If you go to tables, here you go. You can see that table has been extracted without losing any context. If you go to queries, you will see the pre-built queries. What is the patient name? Mary Major. That means we can validate whether it is extracting properly or not. And you can see the signature as well. This document does not have a signature. That is why it is saying the number of page processed one, total signature detected nothing, and there is no signature at all in this document. Now let's take a different document, maybe a pay stub. In this pay stub, we have a paycheck and in this paycheck has a signature. Now if I'll go to signature option, you can see it has detected total signature as one. And if I click on that signature, it is going to highlight where the signature is in this document. You can review other tabs like queries. We already saw that what is the YTD gross pay. Next is what is the gross pay for that particular period? That means the monthly pay. It is highlighting here. Also, we saw the top section. It is coming in tabular format, the table. If you want the key value pair, then you can see the forms option where you will see all those attributes in key value pair and the layout, how your document has structured. Now let's analyze expense document. For expense document, maybe you can take any receipt that you are going to process. And that can be useful if you are going to make any mobile application where you want to process those documents. Maybe a monthly expense tracker or maybe a budget tracker. That kind of sample applications you can create. This is a sample whole food receipt. You can choose your own document. You can take other documents. Currently, I have received an invoice. If I will select the invoice, now you can see it has processed everything. These are the summary field. It has detected product one, quantity one, unit price and the amount. Also, it is giving the product wise option. If I go to summary, here you get everything in segments and it has detected the grand total amount, also the payment term and all. Now let's take the receipt option. In this receipt, Whole food market, although this attribute is not flagged or labeled as vendor name, if you are going to select expense document category, you can see the vendor name has been detected as whole food market. The vendor phone number, so it's not only detecting the text, it is detecting the category of that field. Now let's move to analyze identity document. In identity document, you can take driving license, you can take passport, or you can choose your own documents. Normally, any government ID card, it will be able to extract the attributes. Now let's choose the passport document. It's a sample US passport image. And here you go, you can see the result. It has detected the first name, last name, document number, expiration date, ID type, Although ID type, it is written as passport. That is why it is marking here the ID type as passport, place of birth and other attributes. If you want your own document or custom document, you can choose this option, upload your document and you can play around. Next, we are going to review, analyze lending. Organizations like mortgage companies, they often need to process large volume of diverse document. That means they can have an application form, they can have identity documents, they can have tax document, they can have bank statement. And we saw in the other documents like expense, ID, document, 
those are different categories. But for a business use case or a real-time scenario like mortgage companies, they are often processing a blanket of documents. For that case, you can use lending. And here you can see it has the pay stub, it has the check, it has identity document, it has the text, tax document, it has the bank statement and so on. Now it has scanned seven pages and if you are going to upload the entire document set and if you are going to perform the analyze lending category, it is going to detect what is the category of the document and what is the type of the document along with all those attributes. Now you can see package must be smaller than 5 MB and 10 page or fewer. This is the one of the limitations currently Techstract has as Amazon is daily coming with new new advancement. I believe they are going to remove this page limit and now in future maybe you can process more and more. But however for current capabilities you can upload up to 5 MB of document packet and 10 pages per packet. If you want, you can upload or process the document in batches and the document type, it could be JPEG, PNG, PDF or TIFF. Now, if you have an use case where you need to upload bulk document, for that we have the bulk document uploader and for that you need to upload your documents first. Let's go and check the upload document option. We have two options, either we can process the document from S3 bucket. If you want to process from S3 bucket, provide the S3 URL or else you can upload the document from your own computer, laptop or even from your network drive. Let's assume that we have our document in S3 bucket. Let's browse the S3 and select the S3 bucket where you have all those documents. For our demo, we are going to choose any one of the S3 bucket name, although I don't have any document. Now choose a feature what you want to do. Do you want to analyze expenses? Do you want to analyze the tables, queries, forms, layout or the OCR? What you want to do? Choose a category. Let's choose OCR type and then start processing. As simple as that. I do not have any sample document. And for this demo, I don't want to spend huge sum of money. That is why I am going to cancel from here. But if you have a practical use case, you can choose the correct feature, provide the S3 bucket or select the document. If you have that in your network drive, select this option and start processing. Once you click the start processing, you will see the document processing job has been started and you will get the result there. For me, I am going to cancel this. During the presentation, we discussed that custom query is an advanced topic and you don't have to know this feature in depth for AWS certified AI fundamental exam. Since this course is curated for AWS certified AI practitioner certification, we are not going to cover this topic in this demo. However, if you are interested and wanted to know this feature in depth, then please drop your request as comment to this video. We can create a separate session covering that topic for you. That wraps up this module. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more update and feel free to drop any question or feedback in the comments. We would love to hear from you. I hope this session helped you gain a deeper understanding and brought you one step closer to your learning goals. Thank you very much for watching and learning with us at Cloud Expert Solution. See you in the next module.